let's add a trend line to some more complicated data. We'll do this by first inserting a new column. So just go ahead and click on the C column, right click and insert. That'll push everything to the side. And up here, let's type new Y. Now underneath, we're going to add a formula and this is gonna add some noise to our data. Let's type equals, we'll grab B2 here and we're gonna add it to parenthesis negative one to the rand between one, two. So rand between, we'll just pick a random number between one and two, and it's gonna raise it to that power. So it's going to just take the value and it's going to add just some noise to it. Let's go ahead and drag this down. And we're gonna have values that deviate a little bit from the line. Now, let's go ahead and make a scatter plot with these. Um, let's, uh, let's keep this one just so we can, we can look at it while we do this. Let's grab this column, hold down control, and grab the new Y, insert, scatter these points. So as you can see, it's a little bit different here. Um, it has some noise added to the line. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add a trend line. So let's go ahead and click on the trend line, right click, add trend line, it's going to be another linear one and let's display the equation on the chart and we're going to display the R squared value. What the R squared value is, is it shows you how closely your line fits the data. So if you have an R squared value of one, that means it's a perfect fit. If it's close to one, that means there's some points that are not quite on the line. And if it's a really low R squared value, that means you don't have a good fit at all. So we can go ahead and look at this. It's made a line and posted this equation here. And, uh, and it's also given us an R squared of 0.99. So it's pretty close, but you can see there's some things that don't quite fall on the line. Now one thing what we can do is uh, we can uh, actually change some of this data. Um, because it picks random values, if we go ahead and just click in a cell, hit delete, and then click another cell, it'll update the data with new random values. So you can just do this a few times and we'll see that we'll get different R squared values, different lines, um, but it will remain just about the same. So, so obviously trend lines can be used for many different kinds of data and having these equations and R squared values available to you can tell you many interesting things about the data that you can use for further calculations.